What's up, folks? I'm back with another reaction. Back with some more Aha. Uh -huh. We're just going to keep it rolling with their Scoundrel Days album, 1986. Um, one year after the release of their um, debut album, uh, Hunting High and Low, which was an absolute masterpiece and a marvelous sort of journey. And once again, big ups to all the people who had already been following my channel and commenting on the different videos, Duran, Depeche, Tears for Fears, Erasure, Yazoo, and so on. Um, as well as big ups to all of you who found the channel since uh, I started reacting to AHA. And there are quite a few of you, like seriously, um, people who like AHA obviously are very passionate about the band, and again, even after only an album and a half, I'm really beginning to understand why, so big ups to all of you. Uh, so as I said, we're going to keep going through this 1986 album, and the next tune in the list is We're Looking for the Whales. Uh, fascinated by the title, it is, you know, it's a longer phrase, so you know, whether it's metaphorical, um, one would assume. Uh, I suppose it could relate to like a more literal, you know, whale watching endeavor or, um, you know, it could be like an environmental statement. But bottom line, um, I am interested by phrases that are a bit more um, uh, suggestive than uh, just like a single word title. I mentioned before, if it's a single word title or maybe, you know, just like a short, like proper name like October, it's a bit harder to get a read on because, you know, October can mean different things, like in different places, you know, different cultures and so on. Um, but yeah, name, we're, what is it, we're going to look for the whales? Uh, we're looking for the whales. Um, yeah, we're looking for the whales. Um, it, you know, it suggests a narrative, it suggests like a visual um, scene, if not an overt narrative anyway. Uh, but yeah, it remains unclear just from the sentence why uh, we are looking for the whales and what our intention is if and when we find one or more than one. So um, yeah, even though it does imply like a scene or even a narrative, um, it's not really clear which direction that will run or in what context it will be. Um, obviously, as I said, it could be a very figurative um, or sort of metaphorical rendering, although again, you know, it's a metaphorical whale. I, I suppose it could relate to something that in a way seems big and cumbersome, but is, you know, perhaps dangerous and, um, you know, massive. Uh, but yeah, bottom line, it's an intriguing and suggestive title, but also one that remains sort of um, impenetrable and opaque. So we'll see what's up with the song. Do let me know um, that this is one of your favorite. It is interesting as I go through the albums, it seems like every song that I go through, there's at least one or two people who are like, oh my God, I love this song, which again, it's just a testament to seemingly how much AHA fans love their material, but let's get it. This is We're Looking for the Whales from their 1986 album Scoundrel Days. Ooh. They really know how to start a song. That's another thing I'm noticing. The atmosphere is already through the roof. I love how it's sort of 
Jesus in Mount. A defining feature of their tunes, Vis a Vis My Brain, is that constantly when they do a longer fade out ending, which again I am more cool with than a sort of rapid and like, oh wait, what happened? Like they, they, they you know, they just kind of ran out of time. Um, their fade outs feel more appropriate, but each time they have one, it feels like, man, I could go for like another minute of this song. Um, so yeah, very cool. Again, it had that kind of mid 80s, like dancey kind of synth poppy, sort of like light sort of feel, which again made it seem more similar to Take On Me than any other tune I've reacted to, like, you know, since doing that reaction. Um, but it's interesting because it didn't have like a, you know, it wasn't identical by any means, um, but it just kind of had that light sort of groovy kind of dancey feel to it. So um, sonically, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, lyrically, I I'm still not quite sure where the whale, you know, the, the whales that we're looking for, I'm not quite sure where that sort of um, theme or motif um, is. I still got to piece together some of the lyrics. Um, but it does seem, again, like he was repeatedly addressing a girl, so perhaps, you know, this is a partner that he's with, or, um, although again, I'm now thinking, you know, um, it does seem like a number of you have pointed out, you know, it wasn't just that one song, that they have songs that are like light and fun and poppy, but the lyrics are actually kind of dark when you really sort of pay attention to the lines, so, um, I mentioned it before when I do these, like, um, first time reactions, uh, I have to sort of, you know, try to integrate the, the lines and sometimes I'm really focusing on the sonics, so it usually takes me a few listens to really start incorporating the lyrics, though again, when I'm done with these first time reactions, I do like proper immersive listens with like, you know, quality DJ headphones on and so on. Um, but yeah, bottom line, didn't pick up on all the lyrics right away, but it was a fun song and I think there are some interesting ideas at play, just gotta sort of put the pieces in the right place. Do let me know what you think of this one. I'll see you next time.